in the end, it really is about the sea turtles. It's about our students. And this is really the beginning. My name is Dr. Mickey McComb Kosa, and I'm the Executive Director for Teens for Oceans. Teens for Oceans is a nonprofit organization based in Boulder, Colorado, and the mission of Teens for Oceans is to inspire, to educate, and to empower young people to have a voice for the ocean. I'm Alexis Herbaleo and I'm a senior at Monarch High School this year. I'm a chairperson for the Monarch Teens for Ocean chapter. Teens for Oceans went to Mexico with one main reason in mind and that was to try to understand how sea turtles in Acamal Bay are moving and how the movements and our understanding of their movements might help us in understanding how best to conserve them. I'm Paul Sanchez Navarro, Director of Centricology Park Club. SEA is the Centro Ecologico Acamal. It is an organization that has research scientists that are trying to understand sea turtle populations in the local area. Our big challenge right now is precisely to look for a balance between the economics of historical tourism and protection of the bay so that you do have the economy because the bay and the reef are the, bay, are the basis of the local economy. So if the reef dies, then the eventual economy will die. destination to take Teens for Oceans ambassadors and our goal was to involve them in the scientific process. We wanted them to have a hands-on experience in research and standing next to scientists doing research on a boat trying to understand how sea turtles are moving and using and foraging in Akamal Bay and use that information uh, to try to find ways to best manage the interface between the sea turtles and the tourists. The research studies the movement of the turtles. So we have the IP-based telemetry tags on their shells and we track where they go within the range of the sensor in the bay. We basically went down there to be the first to tag these turtles. They never had been recorded, nobody knew anything about them, so we're kind of piloting research on these turtles. After this, we plan to know where they go, what they do, and more about their safety. We took measurements of the shell of the turtle, the length of their flippers, um, the length of their carapace, and uh, then we had another scientist on board who took some blood samples and did DNA samples on the turtles so that we could correlate which turtles were which later with our tags. And the students then were able to help us position our tags onto the shells of the turtles. And after we took all of the data, recorded the data, and we had students who were recording all of the data as we were shouting it out, uh, which was exciting, and they were uh, recalling the data to each other to make sure that everything was being taken down properly. We were able to then release all of the turtles. We really uh, now are able to look at the data that's coming in from our receiver. So one of the exciting things that we were able to do is to have the data come to us live through the internet, which is very novel. Most researchers have to go to 
the receivers and actually download the data physically. They go, they scuba dive, they grab their receivers, bring it to the surface, attach it to a laptop, and actually download their data. We don't have to do any of that. We're sitting in Boulder, Colorado, retrieving our sea turtle data every single day. One of the fantastic things because of the data that can be produced and the educational data that can come out later, we can package it in a way that can teach a lot more about turtles to a lot of larger audience. Locally, we can use it in schools, we can use it online, we can use it in our annual reports. So we're going to get a lot more information and really connect people to the turtles a lot more. I think SEA is an amazing organization with very dedicated research scientists. They are the, uh, where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. They're out there every day trying to protect sea turtles, which are critically endangered. They are out there trying to protect nests. Several times a night, they're walking the beaches trying to protect the adult females that come in to lay their eggs. I remember when we were at SEA with Teens for Ocean students, we went out one night on a walk and one of the researchers excitedly told us there's a female coming up to nest and she started to lay her eggs. And then after that point, we were able to see it, all of us, um, she proceeded to then bury those eggs. And then she turned away and under the moonlight, she went back into the ocean. And what was amazing to all of us is that we realized that this is something that's been going on for millions of years. And we just witnessed something that was that timeless. And it was something that all of us shared and something that was very impactful to us. And it made us understand how fragile and how important that process is for those females to be able to access the beach, to be able to safely lay their eggs, and to have those eggs protected uh, from any harm uh, because they are endangered species. And so what SEA does is they send their researchers out to protect the females during that process of laying their eggs. And also they mark all of the nests so that no one steps on the eggs or inadvertently hurts or harms the eggs. And then uh, not very long after that, the eggs hatch and the hatchlings come out and they make their way out to the ocean. So it's a really wonderful experience to be part of and to know that the researchers at SEA are there every night as sentinels to protect those turtles is really wonderful. That's really what T4O is about, is to, is to get students to have these experiences so that they become the ambassadors and the stewards of the ocean that we desperately need right now.